It's the final week of IHSA regular season football as both Bennett and Providence are 4-4 four and, four and one win away from playoff eligibility. The last time these two teams met was back in the second round of the playoffs in 2006 where Providence walked away with a 48-38 victory. On the first drive of the game, Ryan Kubaki gives a pump fake, then launches a deep pass towards the sideline for Rocky Rasanova, and he's able to reel it in. He fumbles out of bounds, but Bennett moves the ball inside the 10-yard line, just two minutes into play. Moments later, Kubaki quickly throws to his left to Charlie Kane in the flat. He takes some contact, but crosses the goal line, giving Bennett an early 7-0 lead with nine minutes left in the first quarter. After advancing the ball downfield, Providence is working from Bennett's five-yard line. Leo Slepsky fakes the handoff, scrambles to his left, and then tosses it over the defense to Alex Gibson for the score. Both teams find the end zone on their opening drives as it's 7-7, a little under five minutes left in the quarter. Following a Bennett punt, the Celtics are back on the move. Slepsky drops back and looks towards Gibson again, and he's got another score for Providence. Their second connection gives the Celtics a 14-7 lead on the first play of the second quarter. Looking to respond, Bennett is back in the red zone. Kubaki drops back and throws deep into the end zone for Luke Doyle, but Jalen McMiller is able to win the one-on-one -on -one battle and secure the interception. Providence regains possession with seven minutes left in the half. On the very next play, Slepsky is going long again, but this time it's for Mitch Volts and no one is going to catch him. Providence extends their lead to 21-7. Red Wings back in possession. Kubaki once again looks Rasanova's way, but this one deflects right into the hands of McMiller for his second interception. The freshman is able to fight his way to the pylon and complete the pick six, giving the Celtics a 28-7 lead halfway through the second quarter. After an interception by Quinn Devine, Bennett is working from the Providence five-yard line. Kubaki threads the needle with a pass to Rasanova, and his diving effort is good for a Red Wing touchdown. He's shaken up on the play, but he does return to action later on. It's a 28-14 game as teams go into the halftime break. Fast forward to the fourth quarter, Michael Dilworth gets a carry near the goal line, and he crosses the plane with ease. The Celtics go up 35-14 with a little over nine minutes left in the game. Now with under three minutes to play, Rasanova breaks free again and Kubaki doesn't miss him. The senior's second touchdown makes it 35 to 21 and Bennett does go on to score again late, but time does run out before the rally is completed. Providence wins 35 to 28 and secures playoff eligibility, while the Red Wings postseason hopes have most likely come to an end with five losses on the year. Same thing as last year, we just had to come out and win this game, one more game to make it or go home, and it was just nice. We were just exposing their their secondary, just great passing, great routes, great everything on pass game and run game.